Hi, uh, in this video, we learned that how we can prepare our uh, ligand uh, molecule. In our previous videos, we learned that how we can uh, install our Discovery Studio because some students find some problem. I get some messages or email in which they mention that how we can add our uh, IP address to, to make our license in our discovery studio and how we can prepare our protein and how we can minimize our protein structure before preparation if there is any uh, any any gap in your protein any bad sequence in your protein so we learned that how we can report our protein structure and uh, prepare it for docking purpose so if you, we are you are dealing with uh, ligand structures we, you want to find some kind of drugs then uh, we in this video we learned that how we can minimize or uh, prepare our ligand for uh, docking purpose so for this uh, it's normal you can select your ligand structure here i have tamas line it's my ligand molecule <clears throat> uh, basically i downloaded it from a drug bank so before to start our uh, molecular docking, we need to stabilize this structure. If there is any problem in this, in its conformation and other things, so what we do with it? First of all, uh, small molecules, and we minimize our ligands. Full minimization. You can click on it. Here there is two type of minimization. So you need to do it two time minimization there is a smart minimizer so in this tab first you need to check uh, steepest descent it's in protocol max tab it depend it depends on your protocol and if you see in advance it's a uh, moment it's by default it's good in parallel processing you always need to choose it true it's remember that and in local host it's okay and processor should be at four four time it it should give you a more good results and uh, run it and then send your job in a background it will be continue in your in your background and after some time you will receive your receive your uh, minimized report here if you check in uh, minimize ligand you click on it every time you need to need to need to check that when you prepare your uh, ligand structure you need to open your job not the previous uh, you know not your previous ligand structure so we see what what will have it would happen with the ligand structures uh, and second time again do a minimization process again and in this time choose your minimization is a conjugate gradient and again your parallel processing should be true and your processor should be 4 and run and after some time you see you would you will see your uh, your ligand structure is totally minimized so click on your second here if you see if, if you see the result in your first minimization if you see your uh, initial rms root mean square gradient value is 7.8 when we perform our first minimization we get the result 0 0.1 and when we perform our second time uh, minimization we see that it value is again goes to minimize 0 0.13 to 0 0.09 it's mean that it's mean that when your value of your rms is more or less it's mean that your ligand and your protein structure is more uh, capable for doing a molecular docking so our our uh, ligand structure is minimized and prepared for docking purpose in previous uh, previous videos we learned that uh, how we can prepare our protein molecule our, our protein molecules basically are three RZ E prep is a histamine receptor H1. Basically, there are four receptors of histamine 1, 2, 3, 4. So we take uh, H, H, H1 
his time his time minus chapter one so we do perform our docking purpose so i close the remaining files here and i um, and and perform a docking purpose and i perform molecular docking for the molecular docking purpose choose a tab receptor ligand interaction here you see dog ligand here is a two method of docking purpose first one is a dog ligand with the help of lip dog method and second one is a dog ligand gold method these two methods are good when you are performing uh, molecular docking with a library of your ligand structures large molecules large number of molecules in your library then you it's more better you choose a lip dog but when you're doing a less number of molecules like one like 30 like 20 40 then it's more better you choose a c docker so i click here here you see that our in input receptor is 3 rzd prep and your uh, input ligand is so we change it to trimazine trizamaline all and it this is our input uh, sphere basically this is our cavity in, in which i would perform our molecular docking process top hit you can change it it depends on the protocol uh, ra random confirmation is 10 orientation simulation annealing true and again you remember i tell you um, parallel processing should be true and your uh, server processor should be four and then run and you can if you are doing some other works so you you can send it your uh, job in a background it's more better so if you see and put it yes it will be saved after when your job is finished and you receive your result it take maybe it takes some time so i have already i already performed these uh, methods so i show you some results here uh here this is you, you see that input ligand is one it's a uh, tram the line and, and we got a refined uh poses 10. if i click here you see this is our protein structure uh this is this is our binding site and these are 10 poses which i get after molecular docking if i zoom it you see that this is our ligand molecules you can change this uh, background it, it should be more good if you choose a publication quality your background will be white and you can easily see everything in it these are ligand structure which are present in uh, in our cavity sites and these are information we get after molecular docking and our job is done already uh, it's it show you uh, uh rms values refined poses information uh, binding site uh, bind, uh, actors just mean that uh, your binding energy about your ligand and with your uh, receptor molecules like we choose here you see that it gives you all of the information which you need to learn it from from its data file so if you have any query about it and you can ask me in a in a comment it's more better i will i will i will choose a more better and Mm, preservative way to give you information about it so if you want the next video in next video we will uh, we see that the check the interaction between our ligand molecules and our protein receptor molecules in 2d form and how we can change different things and different parameters about it